This week, a family of seven siblings reunited in Portland after two years apart because of the pandemic. That's right, and they have quite a history, having immigrated from Italy some 70 years ago. Matt Park shares some of their stories. Thank God that we're all together again. We don't get together that often. We're... An afternoon of conversation and camaraderie in Vancouver's yeah, Jack Fazio Park with the Rebiathis. All were born in Italy. Their lives were changed forever by their dad's question to a family friend who had recently immigrated to the States. Uh, my dad looked at him and says, I want to ask you something. I'm not sure whether I go to America or not, but answer me something. How long will I have to work in America to buy a pair of shoes for one of my kids? He looked at him and he says, oh, maybe two, three hours. At that time, all the paperwork started flowing, forms to fill out, physicals to take, shots to take. The seven siblings now range in age from 77 to 94. Each grateful to be together again after spending two years apart to stay healthy during COVID. When we're split out California, Oregon, and Washington, but on occasion we are fortunate that we're all here. The seven are no strangers to overcoming challenges. In the 50s, it took 18 months for all the family members to make their way to the U.S. And there were struggles with language in finding their place. And it was a big celebration that day. And we were very happy, very, very happy to be American citizens. They would go on to become valuable members of the community, getting jobs at Columbia Pickling, Scarpelli Macaroni, and at the White Stag. Today they come together and share a moment of reflection, their love of Portland and love of each other. Her father, at the age of 90, became an American citizen. His picture, all the American flag, was on the front page of the Oregonian newspaper. We were born halfway around the world and we got together halfway around the world in a beautiful country, America. I'm very happy with my family. They, they keep me happy and safe. Matt Park, KGW News.